thank you and good morning. It's a beautiful day. My name is Dala Alfonso and I am broadcasting live from Omaha, Nebraska. Um, today is March 22nd, which also happens to be my birthday. So um, I've been overwhelmed by greetings and messages and all kinds of good wishes. So for those of you who have been doing that all over the world, I just want to take this moment to say thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, God bless you. And um, it is my prayer that um, whatever wishes that you have for me, that it will be multiplied 10 times over in your life. All right. Well, this is Private Transformation Minutes, and my name is Dala Alfonso. And today I'm excited because I'm speaking about one of my favorite topics. Today we are going to be talking about the subject of mentorship. We'll be discussing mentorship. So if you are joining us, I'd like to just um, charge you to um, invite your friends. If you can just click the share button on your screen or the invite button so that your friends can be able to join us and hear what I have to say today. Today I'm taking a little bit um, more time so that I can discuss this topic in great detail um, to help some of you because this is one subject that has been highly misunderstood. Now we are discussing this question of mentorship within the context of developing a strong positive mental attitude because an attitude determines your destination in life. Like someone rightly said, your attitude determines your altitude in life, and that is so true. Your attitude is the core response that you will have or give to any event in your life, and it will always produce an outcome, and that outcome could be positive or negative. It could be what you desire or what you do not, but there's always going to be a response to your attitude. And that is why it is so critical for you to understand the significance of developing a strong, positive mental attitude. Today is day 11 of our 30-day journey, and we will be discussing the question of attitude in a, long, in a greater detail. Now, like I said, please go ahead and share this video, invite your friends to join us, but we're going to go ahead and get started. Now, what is mentorship? What is mentorship? A very well misunderstood phrase, but I'll break it down into everyday, everyday layman terms. A mentor is simply a person who has accomplished something that you are trying to do and can guide you along the way. That is it. A mentor is someone who has, number one, accomplished something that you are trying to do, understands the tricks of the trade, is willing to offer you instruction, guidance, in order for you to be able to accomplish the same things that they've accomplished, if not greater. Now, the issue of mentorship has been greatly misunderstood by a lot of people and has been grossly abused by a lot as well. Now, when it comes to the question of mentorship, who, why do you need mentorship? Number one, because there are only two ways to learn in life. You learn through mentors or you learn through mistakes, meaning that you can either decide to reinvent the wheel and go through the process and the pain of trying to develop a thing, or you can sit down under the tutelage and the instruction of somebody who has already done it, who has gone through the pitfalls, knows the difficulties, the challenges, knows exactly what to avoid, knows exactly when to avoid them, so that that way you can be able to attain to the same results better, faster, and with less scars. So mentorship is a very critical key in the journey to success. It is an attitude. Now, why do I say it is an attitude? Number one, there's a reason why many people do not ask for mentorship. They don't ask for mentorship because most oftentimes they don't know that they can. They don't realize that I can go up to somebody and ask, hey, can you mentor me? Most people do not realize that they can do that. 
Number two, most people are ashamed to approach a mentor. And now let me use myself as an example. I've, I've been to, uh, I've had the opportunity of traveling the world and um, spoken to diverse types of audiences. And the interesting thing that I've realized is that a lot of times when you give people the opportunity to communicate with you, it could be either on social media um, or maybe you talk to them or you give them your business card or something, they're always longing for some type of mentorship, but they are either ashamed to approach you because they feel that, oh, I, 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 I don't want this person to think I'm inadequate, or they don't even know that they can actually approach you on a subject um, on a subject like that. Now, but uh, th there are some gaps which I will also address with regards to that approach because it's not just about getting to a person and say, hey, I want you to mentor me. There are certain protocols that we need to observe. Um, so uh, most people do not even know that they can come to you because it's either the fear of rejection. They feel that, oh, this person is going to reject me. He will not even accept me. Or um, it, it would just be just that shame of saying, well, this person might think I'm inadequate. Or it is just, and in some cases, it's just pride. So it can be fear of rejection. It could be um, the feeling of inadequacy. Or it could just be outright pride. Yeah, what, 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 what do they know that I don't know? Or what is it that they've done that I can't find out for myself? But you see, it's your choice. You can choose to reinvent the wheel, or you can go sit down with somebody who has already invented the wheel, find out what they know, how they did it, what they avoided, and then you take what they've already accomplished and then improve on it. What that means is you can shave off so many years off of your life. Now, let me tell you something. Many of you listen to me today. I am not a self-made man, and let me ex explain that. I do my studies, I do, I do my research, I know what my goals, my target purpose, and all of that is. But when I say I'm not a self-made man, I am a culmination or an accumulation of different mentors. I sit down, I have mentors on financial issues, I have mentors on um, personal excellence and personal development issues, I have mentors on entrepreneurial issues, and... I have mentors on faith-related issues. So I, I read their books, I go to their seminars, I buy their tapes, I spend time with them, at least for the ones that I have access to, so that I can be able to learn. Every opportunity for me to be with them is an opportunity to learn, not an opportunity to fellowship. I'm with fellowship, but it's not an opportunity for me to show a sense of association. Rather, I spend that time to develop myself with regards to the things that I need to learn so that I can become a better version of me. So mentorship um, is key. It's important for you to get over those three hurdles. Now, what is the right way? Who is the right mentor for you? Who is the right mentor for you? Like I said, today I want to just talk a little bit about this. Typically, I'll just give you a few nuggets and I'm gone. But today, let me talk about this just as an extra gift. Um, a mentor is somebody who understands where you are trying to go. Now, there are two types of mentors. There are what I call direct mentors, and then there are also those that you may refer to as um, mentors by proxy. Direct mentors are individuals, men or women, who you have direct access to, meaning that you can pick up the phone and call them. They know who you are. Direct mentors are individuals who um, you have a relationship with and they can connect with you um, at every point in time. They can relate with you. They call you back from time to time. Some may never call you. It's okay, but as long as they know who you are, as long as you have that direct relationship with the individual, it's a direct mentorship relationship. Then there's also mentorship by proxy, which is the individual does not know you, all right? Um, so what you do is that your relationship with that individual is purely through materials. Materials such as books, tapes, you attend their conferences. In fact, in some cases, they may even see you, you meet with them, you may even take a picture with them, but they don't remember you. There is no relationship. Some you've never even met, all right? So, but you follow their broadcast, their podcast, you ascribe and subscribe to everything that they are doing. One of my greatest financial mentors, um, 
is a man named, uh, or rather entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship mentors, is a man named Bill Bartman. You know, he, he passed away just um, um, a little over a year ago. Um, and I never got a chance to meet him, but I read pretty much every book that he's written. I've been on pretty much every broadcast that he's been on. Um, just because, you know, he inspired me and I learned a lot from him. And some of the lessons that I have learned from him are some of the things that are still speaking today in my life with regards to business. Another mentor that I know has greatly impacted my life is a man named Brian Tracy. I've never met Brian Tracy in person. I probably have no plans of meeting him in person, you know, but I have... I, I read pretty much everything that he writes. I study a lot of the things that he does. I model a lot of the things that he does. Why? Because I see a lot of the values and tricks of the trade from him that, you know, that help me shape me and make me better to who I am. Another one that I follow closely is a man named Jack Canfield. As a matter of fact, Jack Canfield is a man that I'll say is the backbone of some of the things that I do, especially in the areas of finances and personal development. Why? Because he, his books, um, 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 his books, particularly Chicken Book of the Chicken Chicken Soup of the Soul, was where I started from, and then of course other success principles and several other books that he's written has actually formed the foundation. Has formed the foundation of who I am. I mean, I've lived his his teachings as if it's the Bible. You understand? And a lot of the things that I teach you are actually from principles that I've learned from him. So it is very, very important for you to have mentors. When it comes to the faith-related type issues, I have folks like um, David Oedipo and some other people who I've followed over the years and who have added value to my life at one point or the other. So it is very, very critical. It is highly important for you to identify men who will be mentors in your life, who would teach you, who would add value to you, who can sit down with you, you know, and, and, and point you in the right direction. Another benefit of having um, these mentors, especially with, direct, with, with, with mentorship by proxy, it's simple. You just go for their materials, you grab it, you study it, you read it, you digest it. If you have the opportunity to connect with them, you ask them questions. But if you don't have that and you have a direct mentorship relationship, a direct mentorship relationship has a lot of benefits. And one of those benefits, the key benefit to the direct mentorship relationship is access. Because access is the greatest gift that anyone can give you. Access is the greatest privilege that you can have from anyone. Access is not an opportunity for you to be taking selfies, taking pictures to go show off that you know this person. That is not the purpose of access. The purpose of access is to give you a closer look as to how things work all right now there are a lot of challenges and things that i do today that i picked up not because somebody taught me but because i was close enough to my mentors to actually watch them work to watch them operate to watch them handle challenges to watch them um, operate within their domain so as as so naturally it begins to rub off of me that i handled when those situations similar situations come i, I don't go struggling and thinking oh my gosh what am i going to do to solve this situation instead something just automatically kicks in in me because i've 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 been close to where it was handled i mean i'm a, i'm also a kinetic learner i'm a visual learner I'm an, I'm an audible learner but i'm also a kinetic learner meaning that i've i've seen it done and so through that proxy and that opportunity of being close enough i was able to learn how to fix that problem so naturally without even thinking instinctively i just go into resolution mode by implementing the things that i saw done so it is very very critical for you to understand the purpose or the benefit of access in mentorship number two access allows you to be able to ask questions you know not just observing how things are done because truth is 90 percent of the things you will learn through access is through observation you just sit down you watch you see how things are done and then you learn through the process but i will tell you that if you want to get the most of that mentorship relationship learn to ask questions ask questions ask questions do not be shy to ask questions when you're with your mentor is not the time i mean you can fellowship you can connect on a personal level but that is not the time for you to be discussing the weather that is an opportunity particularly if it's not somebody that you see regularly then particularly that will be an opportunity for you 
to try to ask the questions that are important to you. When you are around your mentor, when you have access to that mentorship relationship, it is you should focus more on having a... Um, um, when you're around your mentor, you should be on a learning mode. Just put on your learning mode. Basically, you, I mean, you're scanning. You're scanning for lessons. For lessons. You're looking for things that you can um, take away. You are looking for how he handles those things. That is not the time to be like, oh my gosh. It, it, that's not the time to be, uh, to be starstruck. That's not the time to be in awe of the presence of this individual. No, that is the moment for you to start absorbing. You become a sponge, literally. And you just start capturing in the pictures, capturing in the, uh, the actions, capturing in everything, and then you process it along the way so that you can become a better version of you. So it, it is so critical for you to understand. Now, let's discuss, uh, and, and then of course, somebody who has done what you want to do, and the number three, you also have to understand, you have to honor the schedule of the mentor. You have to understand that being a mentor means that the person is working with a lot of people. Now, now, sadly, let me say this. Let me say this sadly. Um, I've been around some of the, what I'll call high demand mentors. Uh, let me explain that. Because of where they are in life, they've attained to very high heights in life. And so because of that, they have hundreds of thousands of individuals that want to be mentored. And of course, not everybody has access, but a few have access to that inner circle. And then somehow there's another type of a problem that arises within that inner circle. And it is more of um, competition for attention. Um, a wise mentor knows how to manage that. You know, but unfortunately, a lot of people that come for mentorship, and in some cases, a person who, in my opinion, may not be a qualified mentor, enjoys that um, competition for attention between or amongst their mentees or protégés, and they encourage it. And, and then for me, I think that that is a very unhealthy environment. If you find yourself in an environment like that, I will ask you to step away and look for a different mentor. But the point I'm trying to make here is that if you're in a mentorship relationship, what you're looking for is not attention. You're just looking to learn. That is all you're there for. If your mentor does not call you, it does not mean that they don't care about you. It simply means that they are busy. All right? And having a lot of people like that simply means they are busy. Look, I am not, I have not even attained to 10%. In my opinion, I have not even attained to 10% of what I believe my life's purpose ought to be. But I sometimes feel overwhelmed by the ad amount of attention that people need. In fact, somebody was making fun of me today that it's your birthday and then you just disappeared. I said yes, because um, it, it's a little bit overwhelming, you know, just to get on Facebook. I, I can't even get on Facebook now without, you know, I, I see hundreds, hundreds, literally hundreds of messages just waiting and and I'm the kind of person that if I don't respond to each one, I feel as if I have I've done an injustice. But it's not possible for me to spend my entire day or my entire week responding to everybody and saying thank you, thank you, thank you. Or and and then of course, so as a mentor, a mentor is busy. So that means that you may send something right away and they may not get to it right away. That doesn't mean that they don't care about you. That doesn't mean that they're not paying attention to you. It simply means that there are other things in their life that is a priority at that point. But if the mentor cares about you, they care about your well-being and they're interested or you've entered that circle where they really know who you are, then give them time, they will get back to you. So the point I'm trying to make is that you need to learn to be patient with your mentors. You need to learn to be patient with your mentors because they also have a life, they have a family, they have something that they are pursuing, which in the first place attracted you. And so they need to keep that as a top priority and then they'll get to you from time to time. All right. So, um, so a mentor is somebody who is uh, too often a mentor is not looking for something to get from you. If a somebody, if somebody comes and says, 
oh, you know what, I want to be your mentor, I want, I, and they keep asking you for stuff. No, that is not mentorship. A mentorship is so, a mentor is someone who is supposed to be adding value to you. It's a downstream relationship. Now, there are three types of relationships that you must always have in your life, which has to do with that whole mentorship thing. Number one, you need to have mentees or who I call pro or proteges, individuals who you as a person are pouring into. You don't go looking for them. Most times they will come looking for you. Proteges are folks that you teach. Um, they could be individuals that just learn from you through proxy from a distance. You may never meet them, but you need to have a platform where you're teaching others. That is what I refer to as the whole mentorship downstream relationship. Number two, you need to have peers. Peers are individuals who you relate to as friends or as acquaintances or you have that close intimate relationship where you can talk about particularly your work, the areas or the things that matter to you. And then as you are interacting with each other, you are learning from them, they are learning from you. You can talk to each other, you can share information. So through that relationship, you're also learning. So you actually, I have peers, I have guys who I call my friends where it comes to certain things I, I look at them as mentors because they know that aspect way better than i do um like in my case i, I didn't come i didn't become a christian until i was 25. Uh, tw i was almost 25 when i became a christian and i have friends today who we do work together in um in ministry circles and for them they've been born again since they were 10 9 they were young and started pastoring a long time ago so they have a lot of insight on those things. And for me, even though we're about the same age, in some cases I'm even older than them, you know, but in those areas, I look up to them, even though we're peers, I, I, I glean, I always go to them with questions and I learn from them on an ongoing basis. And then of course you need to have somebody who is way above you um, as a mentor. As a mentor, if you, 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 you these folks they've gone ahead of you they've accomplished the things that you desire to accomplish or there are certain qualities and attributes that they have that you are interested in getting and so as a result of that you find yourself just pursuing after them investing into their materials investing into their time so that you can be able to learn the things that you need to learn so that you can become a success all right so it is very very critical for you to have these levels of relationships now how do you find the right mentor number one you need to identify individuals who are experts who have who are number one experts in what it is that you are trying to do number two they need to have proven results they need to have results in the uh, in the areas or subject matter of your interest it's like somebody who is single looking for a husband or looking for a wife now saying that they are a, a, a marriage or relationship coach. How can you be one if you've never attained to it? It's like somebody who has never made a million dollars before, a millionaire, now saying that they want to help you become a millionaire. How is that possible? How can you teach something that you've never done? You know, so um, the person has to not only be an expert in their subject matter, they also need to have proven results. It is results in those areas it's like me now getting up to tell you that I'm going to start doing a conference on um, on, on church planting I've only planted one church in my entire life <laughs> okay uh, so so but even with that that is not enough that is not enough you have to have mastered the art you have to have become a a, a, a um, you have to become an authority in that field and being an authority is not just talking about it it's about doing it all right not only the things you begin to talk about but the things you also begin to do that is what gives credence you know i can walk into any room anywhere in the world and be comfortable when i need to talk about entrepreneurship when i need to talk about personal excellence or financial management why because that is my life that is something that i've done um and i've proven expertise in and i have results in all my life so number one the individual has to be an expert in that subject matter number two they have to have accomplished the things that they are talking to you about number three they have to be willing to accept you if that individual if we're talking about a relationship by proxy now you can get up just write this person a letter you know write this person a letter um 
formally. You see, I, I run into a lot of people who just meet me, you know, maybe I'm leaving a meeting or something, and they just say, Sir, I'd like you to be my mentor. Um, it, it doesn't work that way. It does not work that way. If you really want a person to take you seriously about mentorship, I would say make the time to meet with them. You see, you may not be able to speak with them at a meeting. If you have the opportunity to connect with them at a meeting, most times every person who has a heart for mentorship is always looking out for people whom they can mentor. I mean, they won't come to you, but they have that seventh sense, if I might call it that, you know, to be open to that opportunity so that once the right person comes, they can see it, they can know it. Once they see you, they know that, you know, this person is hungry. You can't go to a person for mentorship because of association. You go to mentorship because you're hungry. And not only are you hungry, you're willing to pay the price. There's a price that needs to be paid for mentorship. You have to be willing to pay the price. I'm not saying pay them money. You can. There are certain mentorship platforms that I have I have set up that it's not free. It's not free. I, there are certain things that I can't teach you for free. You know, but when I'm talking about a price here, I'm saying that you must be willing to pay the price for mentorship because you, I had a mentor who for 12 years I traveled the world with. You know, anywhere he was going, he sent me his schedule. I requested from his, his schedule from his office, as a matter of fact. I did that for three years. I would write his office, his secretary, and then they kept sending me his schedule. He's going to be here. He's going to be here. And for 12 years, I was under this person. And for the first three, four years, I was traveling to wherever this individual goes at my own expense. I buy my own plane ticket. I rent a car. I pay my own hotel room. I do everything just to be close to him so that I could learn. And I did that for four years. After four years, he realized this guy is really serious. This guy is hungry. This guy is ready to pay the price, you know, for to learn. And so at that point, he made me one of his assistants, you know, so that that way I could be part of his team. And then that way, whenever I need to go somewhere, you know, my hotel and other things like that are covered. All right. So you have to pay the price for success. I mean, for mentorship, just getting up to a person and say, I want to be mentored by you or sending them a message online I, I, without it, it won't take you seriously. The best way for you to do this is write the individual and say, you know, um, or find out from somebody who you think knows the individual and say, I would like to be mentored by you and shoot them an email or write them a formal letter you know, saying, I would like to have five minutes of your time. I would like to have five minutes of your time, you know. And during those five minutes, it's not the time for you to be rambling. You must prepare yourself. You must plan thoroughly for that meeting so that when you get there, during those five minutes, you get up and you say, hey, my name is Dala Alfonso. Um, this is what I do. I am a coach, speaker, entrepreneur. Um, I learned about you at... The conference that you had in San Jose, California, it was about, you know, developing yourself and the things you shared in that place made absolute sense to me. And from that moment on, I decided I would like to learn from you. Um, I will not take your time. I will not bother you. But if you can give me the opportunity to be mentored by you, if you have a mailing list, you have a, thing, a way that you do these things, I would really like to be a part of it. But of course, if there's opportunity for direct mentorship where I can come sit down and understudy you from time to time or be a part of your inner circle to see the way you operate or whatever you are comfortable with, I am committed to this and I'll be very honored if you can give me the opportunity. You're done. There's no long story about your grandfather's you know, heritage. Just get straight to the point. And once you're done, most times they're listening, they know what they need to hear. And if you're committed to it, they will be committed to you as well. So it is very, very important for you to find the right people to be your mentors so that you can become a success in life. All right? So now, there is so much about mentorship that I can't touch right now because of time. So what I want to do is that I'm going to encourage you to, if you look on top of this broadcast, there are two... Um, links the first one is to as i said for those of you who are interested in mentorship you can click on that link and subscribe um if you're interested in learning the things that i do with regards to the faith aspect of life with regards to my personal walk 
then I will encourage you to please sign up um, to the Dalla Alfonso International or Dalla Alfonso um, YouTube channel on uh, YouTube channel. There are tons of videos there. There's a lot of material there. I update that on a regular basis. And even for those who I am going to be, uh, you know, um, adopting into my international mentorship, um, in international mentorship initiative, which will be starting very shortly. Um, a lot of the training we're going to be doing will be online because I can't be everywhere at the same time. So I will encourage you, those of you who are interested in being mentored by me um, or learning from me, to subscribe to the Dala Alfonso channel on YouTube. Um, if you are interested in learning more about the Private Transformation Network, which this program is really about, and I did an entire series, I think, um, last two years ago, I did an entire series on mentorship and the protege relationship. I think there are like maybe about 10 or 20 different um, um, broadcasts that I did on that topic. So make sure you follow the second link, which it says where if you want to see the full series, go to the Private Transformation Network channel. There you will get a lot of videos. I think there are probably over 50 different videos um, on different topics, and a lot of them has to do with relationships, um, particularly the protege mentor relationship. I did a lot of stuff on that as well. Okay, so um, once again, I want to say thank you. If you have any questions um, with regards to this, um, feel free to reach out to me and let me know. Um, once again, I see so many birthday wishes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate all your prayers. Um, if you uh, if you if you want to give me a birthday gift say a prayer for me all right say a prayer for me you know for strength for health and for longevity of life you know um, and I, I'm thankful I'm thankful for another opportunity to just see a beautiful day I'm sitting down right here in my home and I'm looking out in my backyard and just thankful to be alive you know, thankful to be where I am today because um, I, um, I, I don't believe that I am who I am by accident. There's a divine plan for my life, um, but of course, I didn't do it all by myself. I did it with the help of divinity and then also um, with the help of men and women who who were mentors in my life at one point or the other. All right. So I want to thank you so much for the opportunity. God bless you. And I look forward to being with you again in another moment of private transformation minute. So have a fantastic day. And please be sure to share this video with your friends and those within your sphere of influence so that they can understand what true mentorship ought to look like and so that they also can become a success in their chosen endeavors in life. Have a fantastic day.